Well, the buzz is reaching a fever pitch as the 96th annual Scripps National Spelling Bee gets underway just a few minutes from now. Nearly 250 spellers will be throwing some tough words that most of us probably have no idea how to say, Correct. let alone actually spell. You couldn't give me enough hints to figure it out. But there is one man who knows, and Scripps News National Correspondent Maya Rodriguez joins us live now from the site of the bee just outside Washington, D.C. to introduce us to him. Good morning, Maya. Hey, good morning, Alex and Rob. Yeah, like you mentioned, the competition is gonna get started in just a few minutes this morning with the largest group of spellers we've had here in five years. And through it all, you're going to see and hear from a familiar face who's been here during the past two decades. It's the voice that all competitors hear as they stand on stage, ready to spell their hearts out. The correct answer is C. Oh, we've got it whole bunch of great kids and everybody's studying hard and learning a lot. Dr. Jacques Bailey. In the world of the Scripps National Spelling Bee, Dr. Jacques Bailey is a star. Dr. Bailey's a celebrity here. Uh, you know, you see him walking through the halls. He's just being stopped for autographs right and left and he is so great with all of our spellers. You know, he just has, has a blast with them and they really look up to him. Bailey is the bee's head pronouncer, a role he's held since 2003. Who checks you? Who checks your pronunciation? Okay, so I am corrected at every turn because first of all, I have right beside me Dr. Sitsuma, who used to be the pronunciation editor for Merriam-Webster. So he knows pronunciations like nobody. If I say anything remotely problematic, I am immediately told, oop, look, stop, so it's very, very hard for me to make a mistake. And he understands exactly what these spellers are dealing with because he's been in their shoes. Bailey is a former B champion, winning the competition back in 1980. Do you remember the word that was the winning word for you? Yeah, that's the only word I remember that I ever spelled, and that's elucubrate. And it means to, to study, basically, to study, to burn them in that midnight oil, sort of. A pertinent word for this competition. But when he's not expertly pronouncing the seemingly unpronounceable, he's a professor of classics at the University of Vermont. Yet, he returned to the buzz of the bee for one main reason. I really just enjoyed being in the spelling bee. I enjoyed that competition. I enjoyed the camaraderie. And I love words. As for this week's competition, Bailey offers this advice to those who want to follow in his steps and become a B champion. My biggest advice for spellers is that um, you should study really hard and learn as much as you can. Spell it the way you think it should be spelled. Go with your gut and go with a simple spelling because most words in the end are sort of spelled the way they sound. What is edamame? And that sound advice from this pronouncer's experience. So the preliminary rounds kick off in about five minutes. And during that time, we're going to have all 245 spellers take the stage today. But slowly but surely, that number is going to shrink until we get to the quarterfinals and semifinals tomorrow. There is a ton of spelling on tap today. Alex and Rob, we're talking about more than 11 hours of spelling competition today. And is it pronunciation <laughs> or pronunciation? Pronunciation. I say pronunciation. So <laughs> there we go. But it's spelled pronunciation. So go figure. This is the English language for us, right? Never. Well, it's always, you know, nothing's it is ever the easy. language to learn, I feel. It is. It is. All right. We're just getting started. <laughs> National correspondent Maya Rodriguez. Thank you, Maya. Have fun. <laughs> well, you can watch the Scripps National Spelling Bee semifinals on Wednesday, May 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern on the ION channel. You don't forget to tune in to ION for the live finals of the B on Thursday, May 30th, also 8 p.m. Eastern. By the way, Scripps News is a subsidiary of EW Scripps Company, which runs the B on a not-for-profit basis.